What's going on people, it's your boy Forty. Now we're talking about Newcastle United's Open Day today. What a success it was, as if there was any doubts. I mean, over 12,000 fans turned up to watch their favorite players play, take part in the activities outside of the stadium. There was all sorts of fun and games and, you know, bouncy castles, all the lot of it. And then obviously there was the main opportunity to see the first team train as well as the youth team train on the actual pitch itself. Now, there's a couple of notable mentions that took part in the training session, starting off with Mo Diame. Apparently he's fully fit now and will be available for Sunday's trip to Huddersfield. So again, he might be in contention for a starting place. Obviously we've got no John Joe Shelby, even though he did train. Um, also, we saw Dwight Gale, obviously he's um, still available. Obviously he's still probably got a little niggle, little hamstring injury, but he was available and obviously having a joke and laugh with all the uh, participants taking part in the training sessions as well. And then also there was the lights of Jack Colbert and Grant Halley who didn't make the training session apparently. So this might suggest rumors that they're off. You know, Grant Halley's been linked uh, several times for a, a move to the Midlands. In fact, two championship teams in particular, Derby County and Birmingham as well. Um, and then obviously Jack Colbert apparently has been linked with Aston Villa. Aston Villa. Wow, so yeah, can you imagine that if he ends up at Aston Villa? Obviously, they're chucking out loads of wages at the moment. Obviously, they've got John Terry as the captain. I'm not sure he's not going to be on any cheap wages whatsoever. So who knows what might happen with that one as well. Also, a blast from the past. Curtis Good was back training with the first team. I mean, not too much of a blast from the past, but you get what I mean. I mean, he was off to Holland not too long ago, but obviously that deal didn't materialise, and now he's back trying to apply or vie for a place in the first team not that it's gonna happen but who knows he's still on the wage but so he's got to put in his shift to at least look like he's trying as well and then obviously there was an opportunity to see the new signings mostly in particular Hosselu who just signed uh, a day ago basically from Stoke City and he's already impressing if you've seen it already then you know what I'm talking about this volley an absolute worldy of a volley and now if he can apply the same sort of technique and the same sort of um well, basically, worldy vision that he's got already in this clip here, then he'll be loved by the St. James's faithful week in, week out. But um, absolutely worldy of a finish. Uh, great cross by Richie. If we see this on Sunday, I'm sure the crowd will go wild. I'm sure of it. Um, but yeah, great day all round. Um, great success. Unfortunately, no players were seen by any of the YouTubers, Lee and Sharky. Apparently didn't get to meet any of the players, not like last season where we got to see Lascelles and Carl Darlow. So unfortunately, uh, there'll be no footage from me in terms of that. And I'm not too sure about those two, but you have to check their channels as well and see if they manage to get any footage with the players as well. So on to the transfer news, starting off with Ashraf Lazada. Apparently he might be off to Genoa uh, as reported not too long ago and reported today now that... Uh, representatives from both clubs will be meeting up to discuss a three and a half million euro bid uh, for Ashraf Lazar's services. He has not even figured in um, the, the first team since, well, probably last season. Definitely didn't figure in the game against Spurs. Um, and he looks surplus to requirements, especially when we're looking to get the lights in likes of Kennedy from Chelsea in uh, early next week as well. So Ken, he might be off the wage book and heading off to Italy uh, for Genoa. And then more rumours of players coming in, this time regarding Stefan Jovetic. Remember him? Used to play for Manchester City back in 2013 to 2016. Now applying his trade out in Italy for Inter Milan. Apparently we put in a 40 million euro bid that has been rejected by Inter Milan and been rejected by Jovetic. He's still waiting to see if he will figure in their first team plans. Um, this is reported by Tuto Mercato Webb or TMW to me and you. Um, but that's been also shot down by George Corkin, who's a journalist up in the northeast as well. So I doubt that will be happening anytime soon, especially as most of our signings have been below 10 million pounds. I'd like to see us spend 12 million pounds, don't get me wrong. But at the same time, it's highly unlikely it's going to happen, let's face it. Amongst all the action as well, the Chronicle had the opportunity to speak with Rolanda Arons, who's eager to get his season up and running. He didn't take part in the 2-0 loss against Spurs, but is looking to make up for lost time after spending last season missing the majority of the season through injury.
Well, I know what was the experience of training in front of the fans like today. Yeah, it was good. It's always nice to do this every season. and They came out in a few numbers, so yeah, it was good. It just shows you what a big club it is, doesn't it? That you know, you get a crowd that was fit for a football league game out there. Yeah, obviously, um, football is massive in Newcastle. And they show it almost every week, so yeah, it was good today. And a good workout as well, by the look of it. Yeah, the weather was nice. Most important thing, the session was decent, so yeah, it was, it was good. And how good are you feeling personally? You had your injury worries there now behind you. You've looked strong all pre-season. You're ready to go. Yeah, I'm ready to play. Just whenever the manager feels he can throw me, and I'm always available. I'm ready. And a huge challenge ahead in the Premier League but you've done it before you've scored goals in it so yeah, good I'm chance. forward to the season I love playing football and especially in the Premier League it's the biggest league in the world so I'm looking forward to it and that game against Huddersfield as well at the weekend a big one they got a good start last weekend but you'll be confident yeah it almost feels like it's a six pointer even so early in the season but we're going to go there on so do what we do not think too much about um, everything and Hopefully get the result. Yeah, just a small blip on, on Sunday. You played well until the red card. Yeah, we were unlucky on Sunday with the two injuries as well. But it's only the first game of the season. There's 37 more games to go, and we we'll think we do well. And last but no means least, our thoughts and prayers go out to the lost ones of the 13 that were killed in a terrorist attack in Barcelona.